In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D walking t-shirt animation using your 2D designs. The animation has incredible detail, the tutorial is beginner-friendly, and Blender, the software we will be using, is completely free. Start by heading over to blender.org, here you can download the software. Make sure to select the correct version from the drop-down for your computer. Next, unzip the mock-up folder. If you have not downloaded it already, you can grab it from the link in the description. To unzip on Mac, double-click. On PC, right-click the folder and select Extract All. You can then delete the zipped version. Open up the folder. Here you will be presented with a Photoshop file. Open it, and you will see different sections of a t-shirt spread across a page. Each part is clearly labeled. Hide the information layer and drag and drop your designs onto the Photoshop document. Place your designs in the position you would like them to show on the mock-up. Next, unhide the t-shirt color layer. The color this layer is correlates directly with the color the base of your garment will be. Here, I am adding an extra square over the label sections as I would like them to be a different color to the rest of the t-shirt. I am also changing the color of the logos to white so they appear on the new dark labels. Everything is now set up perfectly. Go to File and press Save. Do not save the document with a new name as it will not be connected to the Blender file. Open up the download folder and you will see two Blender files. The No Tags file only has the neck tag. The other file has the sleeve and hem tag too. Double click the file of your choice to open it in Blender. Once the file has opened, you will be presented with a blank t-shirt. Before we preview your designs, we need to change some settings. Go to Edit, Preferences, and then System, and choose your GPU. If your computer doesn't have one, you can leave it as it is. Change the render engine to Cycles, and device to GPU Compute. Again, if your computer doesn't have a GPU, you can leave the device as it is. To preview your designs on the shirt, press this icon. You can scroll through the timeline to see how your designs look on different parts of the shirt. If you would like to change the color of your shirt, simply go back to the Photoshop file and change the background color. Save the file and go back to Blender. Select these two icons to refresh your design. In this circumstance, it'll keep it as white.
If you would like to change your designs, it is the same process. In the top right-hand side of the screen, you can see there are a series of cameras. Four of the cameras are stationary and show different angles of the shirt, like this. The fifth camera is animated 360 degrees. To activate a camera, select the green icon next to it. You can scroll through the timelines to see which camera you have selected. You can change the resolution of your animation here. You can change the samples here. The higher the samples, the better the quality, but lower samples means faster rendering. Select this icon and choose where to export your animation to. By default, the mockup is set to export a transparent PNG sequence. This is so that you can add a custom background to your animation. I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. To do this, you'll need a program like After Effects or Premiere Pro. If you don't, you can export straight to video by changing file format to FFmpeg and encoding container to MPEG-4. Finally, go to Render and then Render Animation and watch as your computer creates an incredible 3D animation of your product. It typically will take over an hour to complete the rendering, so I'd suggest leaving your computer and coming back to it later. Do not close the render window until all 180 frames have finished rendering. Once it is complete, you will find it exported to your save location. You can use this animation to market your clothing brand and increase sales, or as the product video on your website. If you would like to add a custom background to your animation, export as a transparent PNG sequence. Next, open up the editing program of your choice. In After Effects, go to File and then Import. Select the first image in the sequence, ensure that PNG sequence is ticked, and then press open. Drag the sequence into the composition, and then you will be free to add any background you like. If this video has provided value to you, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments which clothing item you would like to see next.